Hi guys and welcome to the Honest Opinion. We are on the way to the airport. We are flying to Nashville to Tennessee today and it is a very exciting trip for us. Hey everyone, so we are, it's a real quick trip. I mean, literally getting there, turning around and coming back pretty much. We're gonna go check out, uh, we're gonna walk the property, which we've never done before. Um, and we're gonna meet with uh, Tennessee Steel Buildings, which uh, the steel buildings, we're gonna find out pricing on that. And then we're also gonna go check out a place called Hilltop uh, Structures that builds cabins. Um, so, you know, figure we'd bring you guys along for the ride. Uh, so come along and let's check it out. guys so we arrived to Tennessee last night at midnight and uh, we went through the true nightmare with the rental car company sixth I hate leaving the bad reviews and maybe it was really not a company fault but it's kind of it is so what happened we arrived at midnight we got into the uh, counter for the rental car and our surprise was how many people stay in there in the line Hour. Yeah, eventually, waiting after one hour waiting, we were informed, informed that there are no cars available. And it's already one in the morning and uh, nobody has a car, people get nervous, so it was pure nightmare. Yeah, we waited in line for an hour, so it's 1 a.m. and we literally get to our turn and the guy's like, that was our last car. And I'm like, what do you mean your last car? And he's like, I'm sorry, there's nothing we can do. So had to go and get another car, had no choice. They basically raped us on the price. It was $420 to get a car for just basically a day and a half. Um, and the, the sixth place, it was only supposed to be 200 and I think 35 total. So we paid almost $200 more to get this rent a car so that we could you know, come out and do what we need to do because we're only here for a day. Basically, we have to head back tomorrow, so. We are on the way to still building Tennessee Steel Company right now, which is located in Dixon. And we will keep you updated what's going on there. Tennessee Steel Buildings is a local business that makes metal structures like carports, garages, and barns. Their metal buildings are perfect for storing trailers, lawn equipment, ATVs, RVs, and other items. Tennessee Steel Buildings prices are affordable and installation costs are included. In addition, they promise to finish all projects quickly, typically just in 3-4 weeks. Oh, and then the panels, look how they're running. Would you like that? Oh, okay. Like, I mean, what Up are they? Up and down or horizontal. Which is... I like vertical. Like up and down? Mm -hmm. like yeah. That? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And the colors are, you can get whatever color you want or is it just um, within? We can get most of the, most colors. Like this. Obviously, it will be small tweaks, but yeah. for right now. And I'll fine. send it to you. Email yeah. if you want to make yeah. something, mm -hmm. some additions and to it. Can you please rotate it a little bit? Mm -hmm. so, Yeah, with the windows we can play around and everything looks good. During our appointment, we also discussed the color of our future home. Because choosing the right color for your barn minimum's exterior, it's like picking the perfect outfit. It needs to match your style and make a good impression. The color you pick can really change how your home looks and feels, setting the tone for the whole property. Our next plan for today is to visit Hilltop Structures, portable building manufacturer here in Tennessee. But before to go there, we decided to drive through the town of Dixon and also to have breakfast and get some coffee for the road. We fell in love with Just Love Coffee Shop since our last visit and couldn't resist visiting it this time as well. Just Love Coffee Shop, much better than Starbucks. Well, yeah. So we just arrived to uh, Hilltop Structures and this place sells uh, cabins, little uh, sheds, chicken coops and stuff. So uh, we're gonna come check it out and uh, weigh this between doing a uh, steel uh, construction, which we just left, uh, Tennessee uh, Steel. And uh, there's this, uh, a price difference of, it, it doesn't seem like there's much. I mean, I think just for the steel buildings around 30, 
to forty thousand dollars um, but that doesn't include the concrete pad or any of that stuff so we have to weigh all the pros and cons of both but these look pretty good so let's check them out Hilltop structures, manufacturers park model cabins, tiny homes, storage buildings, horse and livestock barns, and more. Their park model cabins are built and lessons for the whole state of Tennessee. They also deliver these units anywhere in the United States. All cabins come with 12 months warranty on structure, manufacturer's warranty on all appliances, hot water heater, and heating cooling unit. I'm gonna go upstairs. Oh, that's cool. It's cute, you know? It's cute. I mean, this make a good Airbnb. Oh, it's perfect Airbnb. It's a little mobile tiny home, what idea you had? By law, like, you know, to be able to qualify certain things. Somebody local may be doing this furniture. These chicken coops are so cute. And actually it's up for the egg layer. This is your house, not the chicken coop. <laughs> You're gonna live right here. I'm gonna put a little bed for you. Oh, it's really up. Is there any price here? Let me see, maybe inside. Uh huh. Well, 3200. How much? 3200? Yeah. I'd like to note that all the cabins are very beautiful and pretty well made, at least at first sight. I will include a link in the video description to the company's website for those interested in these structures and wanting to learn more. So the, this mobile houses are pretty cute, but I mean, you have to think twice to spend $80,000, $85,000 on this temporary mobile house or invest them towards your uh, permanent big house. So I, I think it's a little bit pricey. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it's if you've got a bunch of money to burn, but I think that it's better to 
put the money towards the barn dominium, you're gonna get a lot more for your money. Um, the structural for like a almost 3,000 square foot uh, steel building uh, without the pad is gonna be around 30 to 40,000. So I think if you're gonna spend 70, 80,000 dollars on one of these, you're much better off just taking that money and putting it into the interior, uh, building out your barn dominium, so. All right, we done with our tours around all these construction buildings, companies, and cabins, and we are going towards the land. Finally, we laid eyes on our future plot of land for the first time. Words can describe the excitement and joy we feel knowing that all of this will be ours someday. It spans 2,000 feet in length and 600 feet in width. As you can see in the picture, there is a lot of work ahead of us. It's daunting to think about the number of trees and bushes we'll need to remove and the effort required to combat ticks and other small insects and plants. However, we are filled with determination and strength because we envision this piece of land as our future home. Good morning guys, today we decided to take a ride uh, to the surrounding towns and cities around our property, future property let's say and we are on the way to the Clarksville, Tennessee right now. It's supposed to be one of the biggest cities around us. Uh, it's 20 minutes drive from the property, uh, 177,000 people population of the Clarksville. And um, we are excited to see what is here, what kind of business is here, and what can we actually find useful for us, for ourselves in the future. We're uh, headed to Clarksville, which we've never been to before, and excited to check it out and see what they have here. And then after this, we'll head towards Nashville, and we're gonna stop by Ashland City, which is a very small city. It's, I think, 5,000 people, but it's right on the Cumberland River, I believe and um, we just want to check it out see what's around us uh, the property is pretty much central to all these different places welcome to clarksville tennessee it's a vibrant city with lots to offer from outdoor adventures to cultural experiences you'll find galleries museums boutique shops restaurants movie setters and live music clubs to explore clarksville main industries are manufacturing and education providing a strong economic base the city is geographically stunning, with rolling hills, fertile lands and beautiful Cumberland River. This landscape offers not just scenic views, but also plenty of outdoor activities. The climate here is typical for southeastern United States, with hot summers and mild winters, making it perfect for outdoor fun all year round. Additionally, Fort Campbell's military presence boosts the local economy, offering job opportunities and making Clarksville a thriving economic hub in the region. Our last stop today was Ashland City, located between Nashville to the southeast and Clarksville to the northwest. The rolling hills of Ashland City lead to tree-lined cliffs and valleys along the Cumberland River. With a population of 5,400 people, Ashland City is still growing, with new developments attracting people from the city to the small town. A popular spot in Ashland City is River Bluff Park, offering a large playground, soccer fields, running trails and boat access on the Cumberland River. Overall, Ashland City is a picturesque community that provides a peaceful escape from the city life without crossing over into rural isolation. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our story about our move from the crowded scene city to the quiet woods of Tennessee. We have a lot of interesting things ahead, along with worries and happiness and of course hard work. We would be very grateful if you follow us, leave comments and support us during this life-changing time. Thanks again and see you soon.